Okay, so here we are in Blender, and uh, just like we had to have some very specific settings for exporting our model from DAS, we've got to do something very similar when importing into Blender. So uh, if I go to File, Import, FBX, I'm going to head over to my FBX file that I exported. What's important here is that you pay attention to your settings. I think first and foremost uh, we need to untick this pre-post rotation. If you don't, um, the horrible things will happen. So <laughs> let's untick that. Um, and then we need to go into armatures and say force connect and automatic bone orientation. Um, it's worth if you're going to be working with DAS a lot, just saving a preset like I have here. I've got a DAS preset for importing FBX files. Okay, um, feel free to not do what I've said and enjoy the consequences. Okay, so if I hit import FBX, there we go. There's our DAS model, and he's coming just nice. And here you can begin to see um, this bone rig that I was talking about. Lots and lots of facial adjustment bones, which Uma is going to love. But what we've also got um, are the morphs. They've carried over as well. So I think uh, in this part we will have a look at tidying up what we've got, uh, exploring what's come in, and um, then we'll move on to look at the morphs in the next part. So first of all, um, we're unshaded here, so let's get some materials showing. So I'm going to switch on material mode, and of course there's no light, so I'm quickly going to add a lamp, and let's add a hemi. And that should give us some nice flat lighting at his feet. Great. All of these bones are obscuring his face. So let's do something about that. I'm going to hit 5 and uh, 3 to go into a side view. I'm going to select the bone rig. Um, in fact, I'm going to open up the hierarchy and just turn off the male shape. There we are. And that should give me access to these bones. Um, I'm going to flip into edit mode and press A to deselect everything okay I just want to select these bone ends um, other than in blender the end points of bones don't mean an awful lot so we can do what we want with them really uh, so I'm going to hit B to box select grab all these bone ends and just move them in towards the face and as you can see that scales the bone down I'm just going to leave them quite short so I can still see them but they're not going to have a massive effect on my face. Great. Hit A to deselect. Then B again. And I'm going to select all of these end bones. Be careful not to pick this bone root that's hiding in here. So I'm going to pick these ones. Again, just shift them up to the same length. There we go. So all the lower jaw adjust bones are fixed. So I can now rotate round. Let's hit 5 to go back into perspective mode. And if I turn my skin back on, there we go. We can actually see our character. Again, if you've messed around with Daz characters, they come in with this horrible, spooky eye glaze, which is something we're going to sort out uh, in a moment. So that's our bones sorted. We obviously need our um, global bones, which Uma needs. Uh, a couple of things I want you to notice as well. Um, let's turn that back off. Unlike a normal rig, um, what you'll find is upper arm bones here and lower arm bones, there are actually two. Um, the, this is set up as a twist rig. The idea being if you twist your wrist, you don't want all of the action to happen right to the end of the wrist or you get horrible um, vertex crunching as you manipulate that wrist so what we do is we even out animation across these two bones so the twist happens all the way down the arm rather than just at the end and the same we would animate up here with these and you'll see there is a double bone again on the thigh um, when we get deep into Uma you'll see there is a solution for that which we'll play with but just be aware there are some extra bones in here also I'd like you to notice that um, the finger end bones have got this kink on them if we just turn our mesh back on you can see they're actually 
poking the wrong way out of the mesh now it's up to you completely up to you you can spend some time just sorting those back out and straightening them up but remember what I said the end points of bones don't mean anything outside of uh, blender so we can pretty much safely ignore them for now I'm not too bothered so there we go we've got our DAS model into blender and uh, everything's looking pretty much good to start and once again I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible uh, if you would like to support me feel free to click that link at the end of the video thank you very much and I'll see you next time